But it's finally game week. Ball camp's over. Man, we'll finally get to strike somebody else. That's 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 the feeling that's going on right now. You know, finally get to put it on another team. You know, we've been banging each other out, get a lot of good reps in. I'm just I'm excited to play my first game in Jordan Air. How do you feel with the safety or the court or the secondary is doing right now? We we uh, we saw it like we solidified ourselves. Um, we pretty much know who the guys are going to be now after the last few days of camp. And um, the guys are still competing and trying to earn roles and trying to do things that they can contribute to this team. Has anybody really stepped up in the secondary that kind of surprised you? Mainly the guys that we have known that who showed up early have pretty much been the guys who have been consistent because that's, that's what you want and that's what coaches are going to trust whoever has been the most consistent. What have you seen out of uh, Keontae, K and Champ, sort of that first that first wave out of that corner? Of that corner? A lot of guys who can play man to man. A lot of guys who can who can be sticky and allow us to dial up some pressures and blitz for sure. Yeah, that's DJ if um, or Coach Durkin if he had kind of nailed down who was going to be doing the helmet communications. Has he? Or it's like, one of those guys going to be you, or I mean, have you guys figured that out as a defense? Uh, no, nah, I, I believe it's going to be the the Mike backers, all okay. our Mike backers. That's um, they they know Dirk the best. They know his lingo the best. They've been around him pretty much more than anyone else. So I, I believe the Mike backers, just a few of them. And how's that kind of gone? Like you know, getting the play from the sideline in that way. Have there been any kinks or anything like that? I mean, we still signal too, but at the same time, like the Mike backers is going to communicate, and we just echo off him. There's some young players that look like they're going to get the most action of, yeah. of their career so far yeah. on, in, in the secondary. JC, yeah. uh, Antonio, Sylvester, yeah. uh, Terrence. Like mm -hmm. those guys seem ready to go. To, to, most definitely, to, most, to be freshmen, most definitely. Like a lot of guys who know that they are going to get their shots have stepping up and have grown that confidence that they know that this team is going to need. What's the most important thing for a safety who's you know going from red shirt scout team duty into live action, you know, what, are the, what are the most important things to, to focus on? Just being able to be relaxed back there, being able to be on the same page, you know, like they always say, if, if we're going to be wrong, let's all be wrong. So the biggest thing is just communication and lining up. Seems like Caleb has, uh, you know, solidified his spot in the uh, in the, in the starting lineup. But what, what have you seen out of him? I've seen safety? straight leadership, you know what I'm saying? Someone who as a, as, a, as a transfer safety coming in, knew that he was going to be one of the guys who was going to tote the, tote the group, knowing that who I am and having another guy beside me like him and Sly that communicates and takes that leadership on is, is going to be tremendous. You know what I'm saying? Jeremy, what are you most looking forward to on Saturday for your first home game? Man, I'm, I'm really just looking forward to just, just being, just enjoying the moment, you know. You know, being... Being a college athlete, sometimes you don't really get to soak in and and realize where you're at until like you're at your your last year playing football. So I feel like knowing that, I feel like I'm just ready for the, the opportunity and to show everybody what I can do, pretty much. No bird this time. No bird. <laughs> that was bird scare you? Nah, it was just, it was just cool, fascinating. You know, I ain't seen nothing like that. You know, trained bird. You know. JC has been mentioned to somebody in the secondary who's had a really strong fall yeah. camp. Or just, just your, your impressions of, uh, of, of how he's been playing. The way JC bounces back is is really impressive to me. How being a young guy, you know, everything's not going to always go your way, but how you respond and how how your next play is says a lot about who you as a player and how you how you take on yourself. So JC is one of them people who who has maybe he had, didn't have a great day one day, but the next day he bounced back and he, he improved the mistakes. And that's one thing as a defense, we is one of our packs is if you make a problem, we're going to correct it. So that's one thing that our team is, is really trying to focus on. You mentioned leadership. Where else has the leadership been coming from defensively? I feel like we we got a lot of leaders in each position, and that and that's big. I feel like guys who have, have established themselves as the leaders of their position group. So, like, we got a leadership committee, and mostly every position has a leadership leader on the, on the committee. Going against the offense in practice, well, I guess what are some of the things that, from you seeing on the other side, they do really well, and I guess things that they've done that challenge you guys the most? The things that they do really well, they're, they're good at knowing, like, what our weaknesses are and, and what they can do to get an edge on us because we, we really do have a really good defense. So, 
understanding that our offense they they understand the details and little things like alignments and, and things that that's what has spoken out to me. We got a lot of veteran guys and that can receive the ball and understand certain things like that. Um, what else? Just Peyton, he's a real smart quarterback. Like Peyton understands the disguises and stuff like that. And I feel like the, the offense is going to run through Peyton. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we, we got a lot of good work during the camp. And um, it was a lot of good on good. And I feel like it, it made both sides of the ball better. Is there a player comes to mind? Think about it, somebody who had on the defensive side, you know, in particular, somebody had a really strong camp, somebody who stepped up and really impressed you. Uh, yeah, first, first guy to come to my mind when you said that was uh, Isaiah Rakes. He had just got here right before camp and uh, automatically solidified himself as one of them mean, nasty, and violent type of guys. So, it was definitely going to help us out in the back end.